This whole fighting, uh, my boy Ross and his guys in Canada, that's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. That don't happen. That don't supposed to happen. And what's more unacceptable is when Mr. Drake liked the post. That also is unacceptable. I expect more out of Mr. Drake. When there is violence, when there is violence, you don't condone it. You should be bigger than that. Mr. Drake, you should be bigger than that. When there is violence, you don't condone that. You don't like like no posters and all that because here's what happens. We, there's always a backlash of it all. Here's what happens when now you've inserted yourself. Even if you were not involved, half of the country think you set the man up. They book a show in, in Canada and... You send your goons out there uh, to agitate and start a fight with Ross. And y'all do what you do on the, on the TV. Half the country think that. When you, Mr. Drake, like the post, you just inserted yourself into violence toward Mr. Ross and his crew. Now, let me just say this. As a broker, a piece for Tupac and Biggie. I seen how this shit end, man. I mean, the, these other young guys, we're going to have to have a conversation with a, a lot of these other young guys who dying with these senseless deaths and, and these songs and all that. Y'all brothers are talented. Y'all got to understand, y'all talented. Y'all don't need that. Y'all, y'all talented as fuck. Y'all getting people to buy the records. People are buying your records because people are buying your records because they like the music. They like what you're saying in the records. So leave it there, young fellas, young fellas. But now these grown ass ones right here, Mr. Drake and Mr. Ross. When you like the posts. And you on there doing your little, okay, it's a beautiful day in Canada. And you like the post. You just inserted yourself in some shit. Now, look how this all play out. I'll keep it 1,000. Look how it all play out. Oh, so half the country thinking that you, uh, Rostin played the record, the Kendrick Lamar record, and he got jumped on because he played the Kendrick Lamar record. So now you got a whole West Coast of people. They at your head. Oh, oh, that's what we doing? You don't need that, Mr. Drake. You don't need to be confined. You're too talented. I like you. I got friends that like you. I don't know you personally. Don't need to know you personally. But you're too talented. To insert yourself in some shit that you're not really you're not really about. To have a whole whole coast at your head, you don't want that. I don't want that for you. Now here's how this shit works out. Because again, look, I had the same conversation with Biggie and Pop. I'm the probably one of the only few niggas that could talk to them straight up. I was on the road with Biggie when people would be singing Biggie songs in the stadium. While, no, singing pop this song while Biggie on stage. I've seen this thing. And I've seen this man, you know, like, man, I'm not really about that. I, I love Buddy. Biggie never felt, Biggie never uh, jumped into the shit. Biggie never said anything. He, he was like, look, man, I'm leaving that shit alone, man. I, I ain't really on that. I, I, I talked to Biggie. I talked to Pop. 
I went to Chug nightclub as soon as Pac got out of jail and had a conversation with him on this shit here. Hey, Pac, look here, man. Same thing I'm saying to y'all. Leave this shit alone, boss. Because it's not going to be the rapper pull the trigger. It's not going to be the rapper pull the trigger. It's not going to be the rapper that rob somebody. It's not going to be the rapper that, that do some something. No, it's going to be somebody looking for a come up. It's going to be somebody looking for a come up. Or it's going to be some super fan who going to then do the... Do the shooting. You won't be knowing where it's coming from. So I would have expected Mr. Drake to, to, to be like, yo, I don't condone violence. That ain't what it is. I don't, you know, I don't have nothing to do with that or none of that. You, you feel me? Because y'all can play the little games where you're talking on this on this, this social media shit and you're doing your little texting and you're tweeting and you're talking and all the however y'all say whatever y'all want to say about each other you could do that on here but when you go to put hands on people when you go to put hands on people that's when the shit go to a whole nother level when you go putting hands on people that go to a whole nother level so people didn't have to put hands on on you and then they can have a conversation about it Somebody got, you got to be the bigger person than that. Y'all on here doing all this. Sticks and stones may hurt my bones. Word, word would never hurt me. Ain't nobody put no hands on nobody but until now. See, all these dudes going to get on here and they're going to talk that sucker shit and all that. And they're going to think this is a game. This is not a game. Because you put your hands on, on your homeboys put their hands on. They did not put their hands on Ross. They put their hands on Sam and them other people who are with Ross. The rapper never gets hands put on them. It's the other people, and then it's the other people that really be by their life. It be the other people who be with the rapper who really on that shit. The rapper just takes these other people who be with them because they're in them streets every day and they take them with them to get them out of the streets to try to save their lives. But then now when you go to put your hands on them dudes, they're, them dudes about their life. They ain't with the sucker shit. I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm giving you, I'm putting you up on game now. Huh? You ain't never seen no rapper with no bunch of Valor Victorian scholars uh, uh, and all that. What we do is we take our dogs, dudes who we came up with, and we try to show them a better life. We take them around the world. We put them on the plane. We fly them over here. You come on, man. Come on, man. Cause I already know you hard in them streets. Let me show you some different. Let me let me put you on game. Let me let me get you in this business some kind of way so you can change your life. But then now when you put that street shit on one of these streets, dude. In this rap game, bro, the kid who was laying down, the kid who was laying down on the ground, I'm going to leave that like that. So it, it ain't the rapper. It's not the rapper. The rapper never gets touched. The rapper never gets touched. He gets bagged up. He may get a little push or shove. But then it's the guys around. And then what ends up happening is you condone it. No, you don't want to do that. You got to be smarter than that. You got to be like, hey, look here, man. I don't condone no violence. Let me get on the phone. Hey, man, look here, man. Look, man, I ain't with them people. Now, if you with them people, if you with them people now, if you with them people, then you go tweet, yeah, good job. And then you got to you gotta deal with the consequences that come behind that. It ain't going to be the rapper that touch you. It's going to be the people who are around you. And for all you other guys who think this is a joke, everybody else who think it's a joke, it's not a joke, boss. And I, I expect more out of my elder rappers. Everything ain't funny. Everything ain't joke business. Everything ain't joke business. I expect guys who've been in the game for a long time, this is not the time when people go to put hands on people. This is not the time to joke. This ain't no fucking joke, bro. 
This is not the time to joke, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't joke. And then when you invoke 305 in that, that you don't want to do. Just one thing about it, we got a whole bunch of people down here that, that I said a long time ago. We got a whole bunch of people down here that I said a long time ago. Y'all need to check these people at the door. But then obviously we had a lot of groupy ass people around here start bringing these dudes around here and allowing them to just come run up and down here. But, but they run around on South Beach. Let me just let y'all know that right now. That's South Beach. The door could close for all you motherfuckers real quick. The door could close for everybody. Don't invoke 305 in your jokes about that situation because you you invoke a whole a whole situation. So play your little games with your words. If you want to do wordplay with Ross and anybody else, do your little wordplay with all that, but don't say. Keep 305 out your mouth. I'm just, I'm just telling you right now because it, 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 this shit is. It, everybody, everybody has some has a part of their city where people really bleed this shit. Everybody has a part of their city. I don't care whether you're from Raleigh, North Carolina. You could be from Fayetteville. You could be from Brooklyn. You could be from the Bronx. You could be from Inglewood. You could everybody. You got people on, on, everywhere. That bleed this shit. They ain't really with the Hollywoodness. I'm telling you right now. It's a lot of people who ain't buy, ain't and don't play like that. So when you're doing your little games with the with your rappers and you're running off at the mile and you're joking them and all that, don't joke, don't joke my city. I'm telling you that right now. Just don't joke the city, boss. Don't joke the city. We ain't no jokes. That shit you see, we are not South Beach. What you see over there on South Beach, that's them over there. People down here bleed this shit. Don't joke, don't joke the city. So I'm just going to leave that like that. But for the most part, people, as an elder statesman that has seen two of my good friends, Biggie and Park, die senselessly, and it wasn't by them pulling the trigger on them, each other. It was the people that surround them. I would hope that you two gentlemen get your shit together. Mr. Drake and Mr. Mr. Ross, because I don't want this to end like that. It shouldn't end like that. I'm going to be the elder statesman of it all. You don't want that. I leave it like that. Y'all can cut this motherfucker up however y'all want to cut it up. But I said it and I stand firm on it. Y'all have a nice night.